Hi guys, this is lecture 7.5, the cross product and its properties. If we have two vectors, a and b, we can cross these two vectors to form a new vector, c, such that c is perpendicular to both a and b. With the direction given by the right-hand rule and the magnitude equal to the area of the parallelogram that the vector span. The cross product is defined by the formula a cross b is equal to a times b times sine theta times n. n will be a vector that is perpendicular to a and b. Theta is the measure of the smallest angle between the two vectors a and b such that it is in between the angle 0 and 180 degrees. The a and b on the right side of the equation are magnitude of the two vectors, and n is a unit vector perpendicular to the plane containing a and b. If the vector a and b are collinear, which means the angle theta between them is either 0 or 180 degrees, by the above formula, the cross product of a and b is 0. If theta is in between 90 and 180 degrees, then sine theta will be less than zero. In general, the magnitude of u cross v is equal to the magnitude of u times the magnitude of v times sine theta. Now let's take a look at example one from the learning resources. If the magnitude of a is equal to 30 and the magnitude of b is equal to 20, the angle between a and b is 40, and b are, a and b are in the plane of the page. Find a cross B and B cross A. Let's refer back to this diagram for a moment. First we have to find out the direction of the cross vector. How we do that is we use the right hand rule. So in order to do that you have to take your right hand and you have to go in direction from A to B because this is A cross B. So when you go from A to B you make this kind of curve when you make this, your thumb is pointing up. Therefore, the direction of A cross B is outward from the page. Let n be the unit vector perpendicular to both A and B with the direction outward from this page. Then, A cross B will be equal to 30 times 20 times sine 40 times the unit vector. On contrast, if we have to cross B cross A, then we have to use our hand and we have to go from the direction of B to the direction of A. Our thumb will be pointing down, which means the direction of B cross A is into the page. And thus B cross A will be equal to 20 times 30 times sine 40 times the unit vector N. From example 1, A cross B and B cross A are not equal vectors, but they are opposite vectors because they have different direction. Therefore, the cross product is not commutative. Therefore, A cross B is not equal to B cross A. But A cross B is equal to negative of B cross A. The cross product in Cartesian form. Let A be A1, A2, A3, and B be B1, B2, B3. The cross product states that the magnitude of A cross B will be equal to the magnitude of A times the magnitude of b times sine theta. In general, a cross b will have a certain formula. a cross b will be equal to a2 times b3 minus a3 times b2 times the unit vector for x-axis minus a1 times b3 minus a3 minus, uh, times b1 times the unit vector for the y-axis plus a1 times b3 minus a2 times v1 times the unit vector for the z-axis. Here's a more simpler visual way to memorize. So whenever you see a line that goes through two variables that's going downward that have a negative slope, you're supposed to multiply them together and add them. Not add them, but add them to the previous term. But if the line is going upward or have a positive slope, then you're supposed to add the multi multiplication of these two terms to the previous term. Now let's take a look at example two. 
Consider the vectors a equals to 7, 1, negative 2, b equals to 4, 3, 6, and c is negative 1, 2, 4. Find a cross b plus c in brackets. The first thing we have to do is find out what b plus c is. So we have to add the vector 4, 3, 6 to negative 1, 2, and 4, and that's going to give us 3, 5, and 10. Now we have to cross product this between a. And we'll get a final answer of 20, negative 76, and 32. And that's the end of this lecture. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.